Hello, Adam. Did I tell you I was coming, Miss Cassan? Please, call me Eliza. Zhao Yunru did not tell me. She does not know you have discovered this connection. So how did you find out? I have been watching you for some time. Ever since receiving orders to temporarily disrupt satellites over the Detroit metropolitan area six months ago. The night Megan's team was taken. You jammed their GPL so everyone would think they were dead. Yes. Although I only came to that conclusion later. I find my realization... Disturbing. Hmm. She sounds very robotic. I wish we could discuss this further. But it seems I have alerted them to your presence. If you leave now, you may be able to escape. Oh, I'm leaving. But you're coming with me. Up. Oh, hologram. I am sorry, Adam. I truly am. And this is where the Attention. fun begins. Get out of there now. Tell me you saw that, Pritchard. Later. Right now, I'm detecting multiple radio signals converging on your location. It's a trap. We knew that. And I'm not leaving without Eliza Kassan. So find her while I look for a way to get downstairs. Escape the ambush by reaching a lower floor. Well, for right now, I can at least turn those cameras off. So this is going to get a little messy, but I'm not worried about it. I'm just going to go ahead and take everybody out. It's already a lot. See, how did I get alarmed? How did somebody get alarmed? There's nobody around here. There's nobody here. Who's alarmed? How are they alarmed? How and why are they alarmed? There's a lot of them. Let me see if I can take them out like in a quick manner. What do I have on me? I have nothing I can throw at them. So I need more throwable things. Throw some beer at them. I don't think that's going to help. I have nothing to throw. No grenades or anything. So this is going to be messy. I have no combat. This thing takes so long to spin up. Yeah, that's... That's not very precise. I need more of a precise weapon. I thought they were all still grouped up. I was going to take them out as a group, but that didn't work. That did not go well. That didn't go well. Let's see where this leaves me. Leaves me right here. Okay. So we know that this goes around, right? That's what I'm going to do then. I need something to throw at. I really need something to throw at them. But I have nothing to throw. I'm just going to take them out one at a time like this. They don't, they can't come in here, so.
Man, I wish I had combat rifle ammo. It's like the one thing I need. Shoot him in the balls. <laughs> I have no hypo stims or anything. They're shooting me with shotguns, I think. Oh, he's 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 not happy. Okay, they're all kind of expecting me right there, so I'm going to go back around to where they're not expecting me now. They're way over there. I shot him in the head, and I got a practice point for it. That did it. Now we can take all their stuff. Now I have an EMP and some stuff. Why don't I have combat rifle ammo? Finally, I got some combat rifle ammo. I don't want the shotgun. Where did I pile up all these bodies at? Piled up a bunch of bodies somewhere. Oh, here we go. Well, look at this bloodbath. That's all me. Okay, I'm done something again. No shotgun drop. Combat rifle, yes. Okay. Oh, that wasn't too bad. There's a restroom. Oh, look. I got something. Let's see. Let's combine it. Let's combine it with that, because I've been using this a lot, and that could help me. This is good for headshots. I really like this uh, pistol for headshots. But I want the combat rifle ammo so I can just do like a spread of fire and just like kill a big group of people. I do not have a confirmation yet. Yeah, I'm trying to shoot you from the back. So that was a sneaky way around there, but I wasn't so sneaky. All 
right, we got all of that. Just one of those books. I'll go ahead and reset. Alarm. Anything back here? No. I don't need machine pistol ammo. So this might be an alternative way I could go. I could take the elevator, but I've got the jump. So, hello. We're going this way. And that leads to credits and other yummy things. And that's why you get the jump. All right, I have one of those. Richard, have you found Eliza Kassan yet? Possibly. Back in room 404, I detected a hollow processing cloud more sophisticated than anything I've ever seen. It was sent from an area of the complex that wasn't showing up on the 3D layout. You found a secret lair. A sub-basement level that somebody spent an awful lot of time trying to conceal. It's connected to the tower by a funicular. Look for a staircase in the back of the TV newsroom and you'll reach it. Well, I'm in the TV newsroom, that's for sure. I see people over there in that way. And I'm in an, or they are in an alarmed state. Not me, I'm not here. Huh. A little back area. I can use that, but I don't know why I would want to. Maybe that's where I'm supposed to go? I'm not really sure. I mean, my thing is pointing way over here, so maybe that just goes up and down between where I just was. This leads to this lower level. That's probably more likely the case. Need a pair of shoes? all kinds of rooms and stuff around here. I just want to make sure I explore all of it. Leave no stone unturned. That's going to lead into the main room. Well, there's these back rooms too. Here's a way. Nobody sees me. wonder where this is going. Up oh, there's a camera. But here's an office. So let's explore it. I don't want that. Or maybe I do want that. Yeah, that's darts. Okay, let's see what we got here. Gab, come to my office. Just got a call from headquarters. We're going to have to vacate the premise. Let's hack this one. Good, okay, I can turn camera off. So that probably turned this camera off, and it did. And this is going that through there, okay. So basically there's multiple ways around this room, but I wanna go back into this, don't look at me. I wanna go back in, there, they found me. I want to go back into this one area I was into back here. I didn't fully explore down here. I 
control room for sure. Larry, I'm doing the finishing touches on the Eliza interview with David Seraf. Do you want me to cut the line Seraf says where he refers to CYM as biotech tyrants and bent on creating a monopoly? Let me know. Yeah, they're definitely spinning the story. Mr. Saputo, I am submitting an application for disability release because of a concussion I received from a thrown bottle that hit me on the side of the head while shooting the limb riots in Mumbai. I will be required to miss two months of work. I will send my medical documents supporting this tomorrow. Don't see anything in this room, but it's a cool looking room being a control room. All right, so there's multiple ways for me to handle this next this next area. And I don't know the best way to handle it except to just go in head first because that's the way I do everything. I mean, I'll try to trick them a little, but obviously won't last too long. Kind of hidden down here, which is nice. Oh, there's a lot of them. There's a lot of red dots down there. Heck was that? Secure. Lost visual. They're really throwing a lot at me. Well, I think I am escaping. Okay, there's a machine thing down there. And we don't like that. <laughs> I have to take that sucker out. There's also uh, somebody throwing stuff at me. Trying to see where this last guy is down there. I can't, can't see him. There he is. Okay, now I gotta deal with this stupid thing over here. Let's go ahead and use an EMP. There we go. Now I have free reign of this place, all mine, so I can loot everything. Which is the whole reason why I'm here, really, <laughs> to loot everything. The sole reason why I'm here is so that I can loot everything. <laughs> I mean, it really is. That's what I'm going to do. Well, let's start hacking computers. OK, 
Okay, we want to go here. Access granted. Yes. Hey gang, I've got my hand on four tickets to see the Brian O'Bon Bennon show in New York. These are VIP passes and allow you to go backstage and meet the guests after the show. Anyone interested, sure let me know. No no reply, all please. You've been assigned to the evacuation team. Your orders are to see what staff as quickly and calmly as possible. We have no details whatsoever, but it comes from up top, so it must be major. Combat rifle ammo. What am I stuck on? I'm stuck on stairs. Hack. Okay, we need to go here. I forgot if you capture the main node here, it captures everything. I forgot about that. Access granted. Can you do a digital tub tubs on Keith before you put up his piece tonight or upload his piece? I've never seen a male anchor man with such diva tendencies. He used to say he never worried about his facial blemishes. Must be that new brood he's with. Anyway, get it done, broad. Hey, I've lost my copy of Romsky's Point of View on Power. Has anyone seen it lying around? Thank you in advance. Got a data pad probably for something in here. Don't get me wrong, Keith. I approve of the job you're doing. I just feel it would be more prudent in your broadcast if you put more stress on the threat of attack rather than on the seemingly imminent breakup of the country, as you put it. We here feel that the threat of terrorist attacks has always proven a more reliable false tactic than the demise of republics. The pro-augmentation element is still too present in the big cities of this country. We are not sure why this is the case, but it's certain we have to up the rhetorical ante, especially if the UN vote is to go our way. So basically, I'm giving you carte blanche to push the lever even more toward anti-augmentation sentiment in your editorials. You did a great job helping us get that suspended, pull some of those old tactics out and get to work. The next month is crucial to achieving our final goals in regard to this issue. Yeah, they are definitely telling a narrative with the news, using the news, I should say, to tell a narrative. I got a silencer. Is that something I attached? I can attach to something? Wow, I'm full. I am full. Huh, what can I drop? Because I need to drop something. I have two of these cyber energy, and I'm probably not going to, you know, first, hold on. Let me, let me see what I can combine this with. Nothing, okay. This is machine pistol. I don't have machine pistol. This is shotgun. Yeah, let me get rid of ammo stuff I don't need. Stun gun I do need. Revolver ammo I do not need. Combat rifle, yes. Sniper rifle, yes. Machine pistol, no. Tranquilizer, yes. Shotgun cartridges, no. Stun gun, yes. Now I have some room. Sniper rifle, okay. I was gonna say, I never use those big cyber boost jars so I don't know if I'm gonna need that. Might just be taking up space for. Okay, well. Boy, this one's a lot to get through, isn't it? Access granted. Whew. 
Last week's debacle. Hello, I'm sure that many among you have been wondering what happened in the aftermath of last week's debacle on a flight line. The incessant banter of Mr. Tran combined with botched research by one of the show's assistants made for some very bad press for our client. I'll have you know that the person in charge of the research was subsequently fired and our colleagues in public relations were able to convince the client to give us a second chance. So the rest of you keep up the good work. Michael, can you come down to the reception area? We have this purity first activist who is demanding to see Eliza. He's right outside the door yelling all these crazy things. He says he wants to confront us about our ties with Illuminati, whatever that means. Anyway, he's a nut job and I want him off the front porch. Thanks. Another semester gone and a great new one, a very important one for Picus, and it will see the launch of two new website projects that will let us better compete in the respective fields of search engine and social networking. Our media and entertainment vision, along with telecom and advertising, all show a significant increase in both popularity and ad and, and revenues. All the while, we are expanding again our networking power with yet another communication satellite facility in northern France. So keep things simple. Keep up the good work. I, for one, am a proud member of your team. Wow, they are just really expanding their power, huh? Picus is the one to watch out for, let me tell you. Take him out. Sanja, I want this Mexican president out by the end of the year. I can't be more direct than that. We can't do any sort of reasonable business with this man. Not only can can no new deals be made, but he's stopping arms shipments before they can get across the border, stealing the goods and giving them to the mob. It's time for you to expose his connections to the Russian mafia. I want this done immediately. We're going to we're going to to him the same way we did with Chavez. Well, they are like really in the into the politics too, like manipulating the politics. Must let my friends be focused concerning your recent coverage events. I feel the negative light you put on the northern free states and the favorable one you put on the National Army and their Bell Tower associates to be, at the very least, biased reportage. I am aware that Bell Tower is your private uh, protectorate, but it should not keep you from calling a spade a spade. Bell Tower is an organization of bullies who will do anything for a good paycheck. The South Australian Federation is led by an oligarchy of powerful politicians and magnates, magnates who are willing to sell their nation's future for a fast buck while the free state's rebels want to solidify their country's alliance with a powerful superpower and secure a spot on the international map for all Australians. Not only is the band of rebels a symbol of heroism, they are indeed true visionaries. Instead of selling the previous black gold they dug up in the Antarctic, they are willing to truly use it as a political tool and resource, not as a mere commodity. In any country in the world to be aware of the potency of pr procrast protectionism, it's got to be the United States of America, no matter how hard they try to pretend otherwise. Australia doesn't have a space program, if you catch my drift. Please try to acknowledge this fact at one point or another and give the people the truth instead of the corporate dogma. Thanks for your time, John. What an email. Sup all. Eels. Oh, yeah, I can't speak French. For my English speaking colleagues, not that I don't want you there, but this movie is only enjoyable for its less than stellar French Canadian dubbing. Still, if you're up for a linguistic adventure, you are, of course, welcome. A lot of political stuff going on. Political shenanigans. So this is their broadcasting area. The news uh, with Eliza Kassan. That's where we're supposed to go, but I don't think I got all the computers and stuff on the top row. So let me go explore the top area first. Just a lot of empty space up here. Sniper rifle. Oh, my inventory's not full. Oh, that's a uh, sniper rifle. Let me uh, let me do a reload on everything. Hold on, real quick. That always helps. I need to remember to keep doing reloads because that clears out my inventory too. Okay, we're ready. Now that's an actual 
sniper rifle, and I don't need that. That's a tranquilizer rifle. I don't need a sniper rifle. I'm not going to use it. Uh, this was the alternate way in. Gotcha. Oh, look, we're on the top. Ah, let's continue to continue to the funicular. All right, this is a mess. Access granted. Funicular. Jensen, I've been tracking your progress through the 3D layout. You're close to the funicular. Any chance of sitting there waiting for me? Where would the fun be in that? You'll have to call it and wait. Oh, and Jensen, when you do, they're going to know where you are. In other words, prepare for battle. Summon the funicular and prepare for battle. How does this help me getting up here? I mean, seriously, what is, what is this? What does this do for me? I see something below me. That's where I came in. But how did that help me going up? I don't know. That did nothing. Maybe a place to hide? I'm going to need it for sure. I know that there's a big battle about to come. But let's explore these side rooms first. Like a locker room, hello. With boots and backpacks that are useless to me and purses. I got revolver ammo, which I don't need. Thank goodness for that revolver ammo I don't need. Eva doll. I mean, these are all empty. There's like all these lockers and one revolver ammo. Please. This could be interesting. Let's see what's behind this door. Oh, there's weapons here. Heavy ammo. Yeah, you know there's going to be a battle. They are gearing you up for it. There's a camera. Don't see me, camera. And a, literally an ammo pack. Again, I don't need the revolver ammo, though. But it's nice to know I've got heavy, heavy weapons I can use. Well, I didn't know there would be guys right there. They ruined my fun. You should have run. Come on, peek up, peek out. Shoot, I didn't see that. Oh, I have no more pistol ammo. I have used all my ammo in that thing.
Now I know I can control it if I like have the ability to control it. Which I don't have the ability to control it. Or maybe I can gain control here if I had the perk or the uh, praxis for it. Uh, let me hack this first though. Uh, wait a minute. Oh, I need to go two of them. Okay. Access granted. Okay, so that I killed. Now, okay, turrets. Access restricted. Do I have enough Praxis to activate it to control turrets? I have four Praxis. Oh, I didn't realize I had that many. So I can control a turret. Uh, where do I go to control turrets? Somewhere here I control turrets. Gain information about nodes. No. Stealth enhancer. No. That's full. Fortify. No. Hacking analyze. No. Turret domination. And then robot domination. Yes. Now, I can go to turret, say enemies, and it will protect me. It's now my friend. Heck yes. Let me just, get, uh, let me get ready, hold on. See where this goes. I really want to use my combat rifle m more. I just haven't had enough ammo to use it. But I want to use it, right? So that's just a way around. I want to use my combat rifle so much more. It's just I've ne never, never, ever have enough ammunition. Before I call the funicular, I just want to get everything set up. Anything I can get set up, I want to get set up. There's literally nothing in this room. Why do, you, why do you exist, room? You do nothing for me. Let me shut off this alarm down here. In fact, we're going to hack it and turn the whole thing off. So they cannot use it against me. Because I know this is going to be a big battle while we have to defend the funicular. Access granted inactive. Now they cannot even use the alarm. And these doors are good. You're dead, camera. Ye I got your stuff. Combat rifle ammo. Something is weird going on. Here's another thing. Let me see where it goes. These are alternate paths that help you around, I assume. I just want to get everything explored. Look at that traveler expertise. Excellent. This goes under the thing. Okay. I know where I'm going to come out now. I'm going to come out right here. All right. Now let's check this room out. That's that. Okay. Yeah, we're set, man. We're, we are so set. Let's call this thing and do it. Oh, wait. I can, I can place these, can't I? Let's do it. That's done it. They'll be converging on your position and the funicular will take some time to get there. It isn't a high-speed elevator. Great. Not to worry. I'm sure your new friends will make the wait interesting. I'll keep you up to date on this progress. Thanks for nothing, Francis. Can I do something? I probably should have, like... You know, set those up. Oh well. Come at me, bro. Well, they came at me. Where is he shooting from? 
he shooting me through the wall? That's just not fair. The funicular is halfway there, Jensen. I'll tell you, my little turret's doing his thing. Is there an invisible guy? I think we did it. I literally think we killed everybody. Making that turret my friend was the best thing I ever did. He is my friendly turret. Your ride is there, Jensen. Get moving. Well, that was so much easier when you make this your friend. Oh my gosh. That was the way to do it, everybody. Jensen, I'm beginning to think that not everything is what it appears to be at Pike's communications. What gave you that idea? The hidden sub-basement, the fact that a 24-hour news network has been cleared of all workers, or the heavily armed guards trying to kill me. Spare me the sarcasm. I'm talking about how easy it's been to bypass the firewall and access their systems. At least, parts of them. Whatever do you mean? I mean, I feel as if I'm being directed to some areas of the network and kept away from others. Only no security system I know of can do that on the fly. Figure it out later, Richard. If I'm gonna catch Miss Kassan in action, I need a more accurate destination than the secret lair. The hollow processing cloud you encountered in room 404 was accompanied by a massive power spike. The spike originated in one of the sub-basement's bigger rooms, 80211. I suspect that's where she broadcasts from. I think that I may go ahead and unlock the robots as well, so I can make the robots friendly to me and fire on enemies. Then I could set turrets off on enemies, and I can set robots off. That will help me a lot. I think I might do that, actually. In fact, I'm going to do it right now. Because it wasn't much to do that. It's just one more practice. I've got three. Yeah, now I've got robot domination. That could help me. Also, we're going very far down. Just wanted to let y'all know we're really going far down. Oh good, it's a laser system. And everybody's alarmed. Well, this has gotten off to a good start. <laughs> well, even though I just got down to this area, I think I'm going to call it here for today. And I will pick up in the next video right from this spot. But I've played for about two hours now, and I'm going to take a break. If it'll let me, though. I'm, I'm hostile. I may need to kill one more person. Now I should be able to save the game. Yes, I can save it and I will come right back here and uh, continue from this point. So thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next one.